All right, Scorpio, welcome to your love reading for the month of June with me, Adrian Nelson, your psychic tarot reader, general reading for Scorpio, those dealing with Scorpio, and wherever you've got Scorpio in your chart, this is your reading. Well, the cards are jumping right away. I'm going to show you, but I'm going to put it back. Seven of Swords. Okay, let's, let's do that for overall energy. But the question is, Scorpio, are you being your own worst enemy in love? Because that, that's what we're getting over there. All right. Are you being your own worst enemy in love? And are there any sort of amends that you might need to make? We're going to look into that for you. Okay. Um, don't like the uneasy feeling that I get with that. But we're going to take a look because it's almost like, I don't know, it's like you're walking a tightrope here and it's not the best kind of rope to walk. All right, but we're going to see what's going on. We're going to see what's going on. Okay, remember this reading is general, so take it as it resonates. Um, let's see what we have beautiful Scorpios for you. Okay, if any of you are interested in learning card readings, check out the links for my courses down below in the description. There's also a link for psychic development. Okay, let's see what do we have beautiful Scorpio. So we started with that Seven of Swords, which, as I said, you know, it's a little bit of a uh, It's almost like there's there's lots of potential for you. And I mean, you know, I, I don't really know what it is about Scorpio, but, you know, I even speak for myself. They're just very attractive. There's something about a Scorpio that really draws you in because, you know, they, you know like, like you are very um, present and, 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 you know, a little bit dramatic. But also I think the beautiful thing about Scorpio that I love so much is that, you know, and I think of an example, this just jumps to, to mind, that this one amazing person one time came to spend like two or three days with me and afterwards I was like, how did you know that I'm not good? I mean, I didn't tell anybody and I wasn't good at all. And it's like, well, I just knew. You know, so there is a beautiful thing that Scorpio has that, you know, you just know. And that's what makes you amazing. But it feels to me that, you know, whether you made a connection with someone and it's, it's working out or not working out, it's like you're holding on to this one ideal. This is how it must be. It could also be that you maybe saw certain people have love in a certain way and you're like, well, this is how it must be. But it feels to me like you're kind of turning your back on all of this potential, all of these connections that's available to you because this one must work out. But why? You know, if I mean, seriously, why? If it's not working, it's not working. Don't punish yourself like that. You deserve the best. Um, past influences for your connection that you're dealing with. You've got the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the King of Wands. Okay? So, something may have started off here with someone and maybe it didn't go so well. You know? Maybe it's not really what you expected. Maybe you went it a little too soon. They went it a little too soon. The timing was a little bit off. But then, some way or the other, somebody was in a rush here. Someone is in a hurry here. And so that sort of like, you know, it was like the wheel that sort of like let the car go off the path along the, you know, along the, the bend of the hill. But then somehow you realize that, well, is this the one that got away? This is my person. I can be with this person. I can be myself with this person. I feel that you could be very honest with this person, you know. And because you could be very honest with this person... Um, you wanted to be with them and you also realize that you really want to be with them. You know, you really, really want to be with them. Um, and, and that's really good because at least you know that you can have that feeling that you really want to be with someone. But here's the big but. If you can, you know, sometimes in love we feel that if we can get that with somebody once that, you know, you're never going to meet anybody ever again that can match that. But that is quite simply not true. I mean, that is the stuff that your heart and your head is going to tell you and your ego is going to tell you, but it's not true. If you could find a beautiful connection with someone once, you can find it with someone again. Forget about all this nonsense everybody tells you about, you know, two people that are destined to be together and you can't be with anybody else. It's nonsense. All right? Love is available to you, my beautiful Scorpius, and you might be withholding yourself from it. Okay? Let's look in your current space. We're going to clarify. Don't get worried about it just yet, but... Five of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. All right? So, yeah, you know, you may, there, there's a tire that needs to be cut. Okay? You might, you, you, okay, you actually have two choices. You either need to cut the tie or you need to make up. It's one of the two. But there's a space here of being very much in your feelings, but not necessarily doing anything about it. When in actual fact, and I can see where the concern is coming in because, you know, 
we, I mean, as a water sign, you don't, uh, as anybody really, but especially as a water sign, because you're so beautifully in your emotions, um, you don't want to be rejected. But the beautiful news is that you and this person can reach beautiful amends together. You can build a beautiful relationship together, beautiful connection together. But it does require, and this is where the challenge comes in, it does require that both of you completely go of the past and start something together. The other person is definitely very willing to let the past go. But you have to too. And you have to do something. You have to initiate. So I feel a strong sense that you have to somehow initiate something. Okay? Um, and even if it doesn't work out with this person, because it is a little bit touch and go here, yeah, at least you'll know where you stand. Because right now, being all in your feelings and emotions, that's not working for you. Okay? Um, so there's a potential that it can work, but like you're gonna to have to take the first step basically. Okay. Um, energy going forward, four of cups, page of ones, and the sun energy. So yeah, if you don't resolve things going forward, you might be very suspicious of love, very suspicious of accepting that other people really want to like care about you and love you and that sort of thing. So I'm really going to say, you know what? You need to you you need to make a choice. Either you're going to completely let this person go, which which might be more tough for you than anything else. It may seem very unlikely at the moment, but I actually feel that if you can get a clear no from this other person then it's almost like you give yourself permission to move forward. Because at the moment, it feels like you're not giving yourself permission to move forward. So that limbo vibe is not working out for you. All right? Not at all. It could even be that maybe it's a past love one, you know, that you need to have that final goodbye, give yourself permission to be with another person. All right? Um, if you need to go and sit on their grave or, you know, speak to them in the moon or whatever, do that beautiful Scorpius. Okay? Because... There's, there's a beautiful, it's, it's like there's this beautiful potential for love going forward, and it's it's amazing. It's everything and, and, and some more, all right? But but you want to, you need to let this past situation go. This past situation is blocking everything, okay? Let's clarify your current space, Seven of Swords. That's, that's a card that just popped out that had me somewhat concerned. And by somewhat, I mean very Seven of Swords. Uh, you know, it's almost like maybe you didn't take love too seriously with this person. Um, it could just be that maybe at the time you weren't ready for it, you know. Um, or you were ready and they weren't ready. I mean, it, it is what it was. You know, we can't change the past. But when you sit with the past and yap, yap, yap in the past, you recreate the past in the present. And then you also upset the present. Okay? Don't withhold it from you. You deserve love. You deserve love. All right, so yeah, you see it? Two of Swords, Mars energy there with the Tower, and the Six of Wands. All right, so a bit of a loss. I feel that you already know what it is that you're supposed to do. It's like you, it's like you made up your mind, but you need to almost like make peace with the fact that you made up your mind. All right, you, you sort of want to take control of the situation, in a sense of making a choice, a decisive choice, and following the choice. Otherwise, things can get quite crazy for you. Whichever way it goes, though, I still see a beautiful, um, successful connection here of love unfolding in your life. Beautiful. Like, victory and success in every way, shape, and form. So, you may be dealing with someone that really want to be with you, and if you don't sort of make up your mind, they're going to come at and say, Listen, Scorpio, I want to be with you. You know, I'm not taking no for an answer. And what do we need to do to get through this? But that will make you feel a little bit pushed. Even though I don't feel that this person is pushing necessarily, it may make you feel a little bit pushed. Um, maybe you're dealing with an air sign, you know, somebody that's very straightforward possibly. Um, so, so do what you need to do to move on from the past. Okay. Let's look at that um, recent past there, that energy, Knight of Pentacles, Four of Wands, King of Wands. I also feel that things kind of fell apart possibly with someone in the past when you were really just ready to give your heart. And of course, that hurts a lot, you know. Um, but don't stay there, you know. Don't stay in that hurt. Ace of Wands, 
the Emperor and the Eight of Wands. Yeah. Strong Aries energy there with that Emperor New Beginning energy. So it could be that your heart really opened with this person. You could see how you were going to be with them. You were willing to do what you need to do to make this connection work. So I can see why your heart is hurt. And I can see why you're confused because you were willing to go the complete distance to be with this person. But the question is, do they, did they know it? Did you really communicate that to them? You know? Because in that space, can you really blame them then for doing what they need to do? Because maybe they felt, I don't know, neglected or whatever, you know. Um, looking at your current space, I'm going to take this one sticking out. So, Page of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, and the Nine of Pentacles. There is a second chance here, but I won't hold on to it if I were you, okay? Um, but if you really want to be with this person, you need to reach out. There's definitely a conversation that you need to have. They could have possibly moved on with somebody else in the meantime. So there is, so I'm not saying that it can't work if you want to go to this, to this previous person, it can, but there's a lot of pain that goes along with that. Uh, it's, I would say it's better to rather let it go, you know, to let things unfold naturally. If you're meant to be with them, you'll be with them. Um, to rather focus on being with someone new. That's what I would rather do if I were you, okay? Once again, this is a general reading. Take it as it resonates. Energy going forward, popping in reverse. Nine of swords in reverse, three of swords in reverse, three of cups in reverse. So this is what I'm picking up here, beautiful Scorpio, is that if you don't make peace with the past, you may have somebody that comes here and says, yes, I want to be with you. But there might still be that strong sense of hesitation inside of you that it's so difficult for you to trust in your love um, or just to trust faith, basically, that you then actually would hold yourself from something really, really beautiful. So definitely, you want to make a choice. You definitely want to make a choice. If not, you could sort of repeat the past again and then that's double hurtful and who wants to have that? You know what I mean? Okay, so that's what I got. Hope that it helps my beautiful Scorpio. If it resonates, I'd really appreciate you liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. And of course, if you want to check out my courses, links down below in the description. See you next time. Ciao.